Humanity is facing a global challenge. Obesity and metabolic diseases have taken on an epidemic character and will soon swallow most of our health budgets worldwide. In Denmark, though, the Nova Nordisk Foundation is creating history. With a research donation of 885 million Danish kroner, the equivalent of 170 million US dollars, this is the biggest donation ever given in Denmark. It will finance a global research center in Copenhagen. A center that will focus on basic metabolic research in the areas of obesity, diabetes, and the metabolic syndrome diseases that are dramatically spreading around the world. The new center will make Copenhagen an international hotspot for frontline research in metabolic disease and connect with several international institutions. Shenzhen, China, Stockholm, Cambridge, UK, Harvard, Yale, Stanford. The center in Copenhagen will be led by four scientific directors my research is focused on the development of insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes and obesity. The aim of my research is to transform knowledge about receptor structure and function to novel medical drugs to treat metabolic diseases. I'm focused on identifying the genes causing type 2 diabetes and obesity. I'm an expert in gut hormones. We've been working with them for 30 years and we've found some new and exciting hormones. This is where the Nova Nordisk Foundation Center for Basic Metabolic Research will be established between now and 2014. Coming from the US, I was originally attracted by the high level of excellence in Scandinavia in the research area of metabolism. And this new center will function as a magnet to continue in this tradition of excellence in the area of metabolism. In some parts of the world, 30 to 40 percent of the adult population is overweight. We're living in the midst of a worldwide epidemic of type 2 diabetes, and young generations will be confronted with a constant increase in obesity. A key philosophy for the new center in Copenhagen will be collaboration and knowledge flow. An early spring day in the city of Shenzhen in southern China. People are in the streets enjoying the fact that it's Sunday and the shops are open. With 1.3 billion people, China is advancing into the 21st century where it will play a major global role. In the streets of Shenzhen, you meet the citizens of modern China. Professor Olaf Borbu Peterson is a genomic specialist and has had an important role in establishing the Danish-Chinese initiative. This initiative has led to close links between Copenhagen and the Beijing Genomics Institute. We are in the middle of a genetic revolution. We are in China. In fact, we are at Beijing Genomics Institute, which is a world-leading center for DNA sequencing. And here we definitely feel the pulse and the nerve of the genetic revolution. And the fantastic story is that this center will form an alliance with a new Copenhagen center. So together we will be an international powerhouse within the field of medical genetics in the world. Type 2 diabetes is spreading fast in the Chinese population. Western food and lifestyle is extremely popular among the Chinese and could explain why diabetes is becoming a part of China's new lifestyle. But there is much more to it than food. Genes. 
Professor Wang Jin at the Beijing Genomics Institute is one of the world's leading experts in genomics. Genomics cannot be done alone. We have the big technology platforms, which already become a Sino-Danish joint effort. We have a Sino-Danish genomic center there. And medical record in the Scandinavia region is really perfect. It's really well, so much better than the Chinese ones. So the way to combine force between those Scandinavian me medical re research and study with the Chinese genomics muscle, you will be a natural match to the future uh, research in the type of diabetes and metabolic syndrome. In the United States, Harvard University is at the vanguard of metabolic research. At the Jocelyn Diabetes Center, Professor Ronald Kahn is the leading voice. In the United States, for example, we know that the average weight of an adult has gone up almost a half a kilogram per year for the last decade. I think that the work in diabetes already is very strong in Copenhagen, and I think that this new center will expand its breadth to include a much broader range of metabolic disease. A new awareness has to be created to fight the epidemic of obesity and type 2 diabetes. We all have to eat and drink differently, and we need to exercise more. At the center, we'll be performing basic research in metabolic diseases, which can then be used to create novel treatments. We'll exploit the knowledge that obesity surgery can cure diabetes overnight and that it can create a huge, substantial weight loss that will last a long time. What we want to achieve in this center is to devise new therapies for obesity and diabetes. And we want to base them on the things we have learned from obesity surgery. We know that there are hormones doing terrific things and that's what would be the basis for the new therapy. Mankind has been around for thousands of years. We have fought wars and created not just the seven wonders of the world, but have shown ingenuity in finding new ways to push our civilization ahead. Now is the time to take a crucial step forward, a time when the Novo Nordisk Foundation Center for Basic Metabolic Research in Denmark will connect with the best scientists around the world to break new ground in metabolic research.